Happy Teachable Moment Monday, everyone. Thanks for coming back. Today, I'm going to talk about something that is probably going to make you groan. Because when my friend pointed it out to me, it made me groan. But because I am doing this work and because it's really important to be authentic and um, to live what I speak, last week's Teachable Moment was about not taking things personally. And I gave an example about how somebody wrote F you on a survey I did and that I was able to move through the hurt to get to a place of love to tell this total stranger that I love them. I mean, I posted it on Facebook, but that I love them in spite of themselves. And a friend of mine pointed out that I should be able to find that same love for police officers. I have ultimate respect for police officers, those that do their job and don't cause black people harm. And she said, but even the person that wrote F you on your survey uh, is a jacked up person and the police officers that do what they do to unarmed black people are also jacked up people. And if you can find a way to love that person that wrote F you, you should be able to find a way to love those police officers. And while I'm slightly annoyed that I have to do this exercise, I do have to say that there is some truth in it. Because if we are really going to change the narrative, if we're really going to move through our racism and our all the isms and all our biases and prejudices and judgments, then we do have to find love for people, even in the space of people who do harm to people that we love. So I'm going to say to all the police officers who do their jobs and protect and serve their communities from a place of love, I love you. And to the police officers who I am going to assume think they're doing the best for their communities, And maybe you grew up in an environment where you were taught that black people were X and you think you're solving the problem by treating black people and people of color a certain way, even to the extent of killing them. I have to say I love you too, because maybe you haven't heard love. Maybe you haven't received love in your life. Here's my point. As hard as that was for me to say about police officers, who I believe killed black people because they knew they could and would get away with it. The fact that I had to right now find space for love for them has moved through my body and I'm feeling it in a really positive, amazing way. So we have to all find a way to find space for love. That's the only thing that's going to help us move where we need to go. <sighs> wow. I did not expect that to happen. I had to be true to this whole concept of loving. And I am so grateful to my friend for pointing that out to me. And uh, I know that wasn't easy to hear because it wasn't easy for me to say. I don't expect you to change overnight. But if you just take a moment in every day, and think about how you're responding to situations, I think you'll find a way to get there. All right, thanks for coming back. I'll see you next time.